So I just wrote a beat and it basically sounds like drunk aliens at a marimba party. So here we go. Drunk aliens come. piano riff here. I uh, put together some chords. I like the chords, but I didn't want to go with the chords. I wanted to go with um, some sort of a melody, so I just used the chords, pulled a little melody out of it. Um, I think it's a little bit, like it's a little bit poppy for my taste. So with pop can be great, um, but if it's too pop, it's like the candy that's too sugary sweet, like you love it, and because sugar is like, yay, but you, then you can't take it. Like, this is why like those, some of those songs, they get stuck in your head and then you hate them, you never want to hear them again. So that's kind of the love hate with pop. So this is, the, it's a little bit too much on the sugary sweet side. Um, the like happy, yay, but, uh, hey, but it's not bad. So, um, and you know, like with a lot of things, we just gotta try. So let's give a listen. So there it is. Let's see what we can do with it. First off, I'm gonna separate these because I don't. I, I guess we could, you know, if we wanted to, we could use the chords for the chorus type of thing. Um, we're really just going for a starting beat. Um, don't want to throw this away. Um, so yeah, j really just going for a, a, an initial starting beat so we have something to work with and uh, see how that turns out. Um, so Oliver, see what you got. And we could, you know, something if I was seriously going to work on this to try and make this a song, I probably actually wouldn't go with this little clip because uh, it's just a little too poppy for me. But um, I also, if I did decide to go with it, I would probably make the different, the ending on this side a little bit different. So we're not doing the same thing over. Those little things are important. They, they go a long way in keeping it interesting and fresh. And maybe we'll do it by the end of the song. We'll see. All right, we start there almost always. Oops, uh, you are gone. All right, so yeah, this has got kind of the, the trap feel. So poppy, wow. Of 
course, we're going to have to double that with one that only has one because it's just too much. We'll actually probably change this second one quite a bit more. Let's just erase everything, start over on the second one. There we got that. I think we need to do something different with these, something more consistent with uh, the hi hat. We could go super classic. see if I can toss in some percussion. The one I like is this one. Um, yeah, Cause it's kind of subtle. Let's just, let's see if it can fit somewhere. Sometimes I accidentally put them on the kick and I try not to do that. But usually like just before these, like here, in between these, or just, just before one. I can't go here cause we got the kick going there. But this could, this could sound good. Um, another spot, well, actually I guess those are kind of the only too much. Um. No, definitely, definitely too much. So can it go in front of one of these guys, you know, there, or this, we need that extra space to have that moment, because that's why that's there. Maybe here. Not here, but maybe that second one. Let's try here. Uh, we've already got that. Well, I guess we could maybe try this. I'm skeptical about that. Uh, skeptical about that. Don't think that would really work. But you gotta try. All right, and this one. I, I don't think any of these are gonna work. Let's try it. You know what's funny, actually? I 
And I think that one didn't, and I actually think these work, surprisingly. These work, I think, especially because there's two. If it was just one, I feel like not so much, but with two. And that third one. Put another one here. move him to there. Let's see if that works. I, I feel like it may not, but let's see. It kind of gets overshadowed. Um, yeah, I think it needs one, though. So, um, that's kind of an interesting beat. Uh, bass, what are we going to do with bass? Bass, what are we going to do with you? Um, let's find out. So for this one, I don't want to go crazy on the bass. Just like, you know, following, let's see here. Right, we got our bass right here, basically. We need to change one note, but I think this is it. Uh, there we go. Uh, we need to change a couple, but this is a good start. Um, what notes does this start on? So this starts on the, uh, the C sharp and the E. Okay, so that's neither of those. So let's try that right here. So we've got uh, no here. It does the second one, E again, and uh, A. So I'm thinking maybe an A. we get here. Where we've got the okay B. I think that sounds like it makes sense. And then up to the D sharp and the B. So those first two worked well. Give us some volume here. Yeah. This is the only one that feels weird to me. Um, or the other options. All the way up there. Uh, it's G sharp. G sharp or B, those are our choices. Maybe it's not weird. G sharp. Boom, that's it. That was definitely it. So now we could probably do a... Thank you. 
here we go. Too much. Enough of that. See, see what I mean when you hear it too many times? It gets gets on your nerves a little bit. All right, let's have a listen. All right, so I like that. Let's bring the volume down. Um, uh, there's and there's programs that you can make that sound more like a bass guitar if you wanted to. Uh, if we were going to go there. So that's about 15 minutes to put this little beat together. Let's get our volumes straight. Because these go crazy. I feel like that's pretty good. The piano is way too loud. Well, I even wonder if that should be piano. Let's Do you hear how loud that is? I brought down, oh man. Oh, that's the kit. Oh my God. Oh, this got moved. Ugh. I'm getting all mixed up here. Um, right, so you've got to be up here. We're saving that. That's what threw me off. All right. So put, bring you down to the bottom and that's where you're going to stay. Um, put some space in between that. Nope. All right. So uh, I think the piano helps make give it like a Latin feel. Um, let's see if we can do something else. If, if I wanted to go for an easy choice, I would go for some bells. Uh, some mallets, let's start there. It doesn't sound bad, I've just heard it a lot of times before, so let's see what else there is. Uh, familiar but likable.
Yeah, this marimba I liked. Um, uh, keyboards. Okay, I like that better. It's just less in your face. So I'm trying to think of something, because it's so catchy, I want to think of something that minimizes the sound of it. And that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm kind of liking some of these. Um, it's just less in your face. Because this is already super poppy. And then for a chorus for this, you could have something like that, because this is kind of bouncy. You could have some you know, good solid synth notes. Actually, this just, if you're doing a verse, you know, something like this could be fine. Um, can we put something on top of this that will, you know, kind of take the edge off of that pop? Let's see. Um, Uh, what do we want? We don't want that. We want, uh, let's try alchemy. Because that's similar, so we can't use that. No. Curious how this would sound. Mm -mm. Thought that was might be something, and it's not.
getting closer. I like that. This is a little bit unpredictable. It makes it fun. Let's go with it. Let's see what else we got here. Nope. Nope. Wow, none of those. All right, we're going with the classic. Um. That was a little weirder than I thought it would be. Um, all right, so it sounds like that is our song. Let's give it a listen. I need um, a little bit more because we're starting early on this one. Oh yeah, hmm. So this is interesting, I have to actually bring this over. Um, right. All right, let's figure this out here. Um, so those three notes is what I need. If we bring this line this up there, right, so right there, should work, should work, my friend. You know what? I have to uh, not do that. I have to do... Uh, if I want to repeat this, I have to do that. And line it up with uh, you over there. Um, so that's where we match up to. So that means you go here. And then, that should work. And then you start. Okay, it's a little bit off. Um, Match up here and match up there. Okay, so that should match. All right, let's give that a listen. You know what? Uh, we need a pad. I'm gonna put a pad on there just to give it a little bit more support. All right, so I just added some pads that I think help a lot. 
basically following the bass. Let's try maybe try that again. Um, oops. You know what? No, I think I like the beginning one. So, a little bit weird at the end there, but I don't know. I think it's, it's kind of fun. I think we can work with it. Um, time to put this on a video.